Plans are in the works tonight to reopen the doors of Twin Valley Hospital and care for mental health patients left to fend for themselves. Holly Samuels, live and on your side with what the sale means to you. Holly? Well, right now, health officials say they just like to know what the plans are for this company. They say best case scenario, patients who need mental health care would not end up at a place like this at a hospital. They say rather they would end up somewhere that was better suited to fit their needs, and that means fewer tax dollars and safer streets. Three months ago, Two News told you Jerry's story. His neighbor, Tyrone Givens, shot this video on advice from police after Jerry started causing problems in the neighborhood. And he would urinate in the trash cans. He would rail against the community, against his imaginary friends. Givens knew Jerry was sick. He eventually filed for a protection order, but the police couldn't do much. There was nowhere for Jerry to go. Brian Bucklew, president of the Greater Dayton Area Hospital Association, or Gadaha, says situations like Jerry's were made worse when Twin Valley closed its doors in June of 2008. We've lost 120 beds in our community, and that has put a real strain on the delivery system. Uh, and basically we had five months to figure out how to deal with it. And uh, we're still trying to figure out how to deal with it. Amamata, a New Albany, Ohio-based mental health care company, might have an answer. It's agreed to buy the Twin Valley property for $1.7 million. But Bucklew says he's saving his sigh of relief. Yeah, I haven't seen any plan. I don't know what, their, uh, what the plans are for the facility. And so um, if it's inpatient, great. Um, if it's outpatient, that's probably less of a help to our community, although that, those services are still needed. But we really need some assistance with the inpatient uh, patients of the community and making sure that they serve the entire community, not just those that, that have insurance. Since Twin Valley closed, the only state options are in Toledo, Cincinnati, and Columbus. Many times, those who can't pay are now sent to the hospital. You and myself, people that have insurance and taxpayers in the community are picking up the, the price tag for that, and that's not the most efficient, effective way to do it. In Jerry's case, it's too late. His home burned in August, and he moved away. The fire was ruled arson. Now, as for the money is set to exchange hands here, Bucklew tells me he would like to see that $1.7 million be funneled back into the Dayton community to help offset the cost that it incurred when Twin Valley closed its doors. Reporting live in Dayton, Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.